Hi guys, trying something different today. I just parked up in the car park here and was just behind me in that drain there. It had some water and I was walking up. It had some activity in the water. I'm not sure if it's fish, tadpole, it looked like fish. Um, but it swam underneath the culvert. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a little fish trap with that old, the old bottle fish trap. And I'm going to throw it in there for the day and see if it's possible to catch something. So I'm going to organize that trap now, throw it in there. And when it's time to go home, I'll pull up the trap and see if we have anything in it. It should be a cool, cool experiment, so let's check it out. Check it out again. This is the drain. Normally it's dry, but all the rain we had the last couple of days have water and ice underneath there. So, I'm going to try and get the bottle, make a quick fish trap and throw it in there. It's supposed to have a knife somewhere in the car. Shouldn't be take too long. Alright guys, so behind me there's a drain. I saw some water in it, in the car park. So I went, took me about maybe less than five minutes and made these two traps. Two bottles. I wish I had bigger bottles. Like two traps we're working right now. I have some trusty bread. Nice trusty bread. We're gonna put some bait in the traps. Drop it in there, leave it for the day. It's time to go home. We're gonna pick it up and see if we catch anything. Could have some small fish, some guppies, maybe a small acara. We'll see. Just gonna drop it in, leave it for the day, and we'll pick it up at the end. Check it out. Oh, just saw a nice size fish there, boy. Definitely some stuff swimming in there. So let's check it out. These traps. Two bottles are water bottle, and you don't wanna get coconut water in. Not the best. I wish I had bigger bottles. It would a lot better. But we'll still try it, see how it goes, and the bread for bait, of course. So, how I did it, I just cut the bottles, cut off the top, stick it in. I use a stapler and staple them a little more secure. Staple, staple, staple. I flip them over so hopefully the fish swims through there, eats the bread, and it can't come back out. Punch some holes in it as well, so we'll see how it goes. Let's experiment. Okay guys, so there's the traps, I put some rocks in it to keep it sunk and the bread inside it. Two bottles, just gonna drop it right by the entrance there. Leave it. There we go guys, two bottle traps in, one facing the entrance, one kind of to the corner. So we'll see if it works, we leave it for the day and then we pick it up. Nice. So that's a little fun experiment guys, you never know what we could catch. It'd be pretty cool to check the traps at the end of the day. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Alright guys, I couldn't wait till the end of the work day. So now it's about just after 2, been in there since 9, so that's about 5 hours and I could not check the trap. So let me go and check it out. Up on it. 
Whoa, what I've seen is... Is that snails in there? What the hell? I even know it had snails in this place. Let's take a look. Damn guys, it had fish in it, but the fish died. What the hell, look at fish. Snail suck out all the life on the fish. Look at fish. Holy crap, holy fish died, boy. So, guys, there's a lot of fish in this bottle here, but I don't know why all of them dead. I don't know if these snails did it or what. Cut it open. Look at snails and look at fish. One, two, three, and all the fish. Somehow dead boy. What the hell? I need mean, this one away. There's only snails in this one. One fish is living. Snails. I don't need snails to suck the life out of the fish. One, two, three, four, five. That is crazy. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You guys see that? Look at snails. About 30 or 40 snails, and all the fish just kept out. So weird. Well guys, the trap was successful, but the fish died. That sucks, no deal. So although I'll carry these fish home, probably try and feed them to my peacock bass so they don't go to waste. But I wish they were alive, but that sucks, boy. Look at, look at snails. I got throw back all these snails in the water. I didn't know it had so much snails inside here. But damn, boy. Alright, guys. All right guys, so you saw that ha what happened there. We caught a lot, a few fish, maybe six or seven, but too much snails. I don't know if they killed all the oxygen from any bottle or what, but fish didn't survive. I'm not gonna waste them, I'm gonna feed them to my peacock bass. So at least they will put to use. I'm gonna put them in the fridge actually. So thanks for watching guys. Enjoy this episode of Post and Fishing. Semi-successful episode, trap work, yes, the fish died. So thanks for watching. Another adventure, if you like the video, please leave a like. Better share it if you enjoy. Thanks a lot.